Hello everyone. Last week you may have listened to my reading of the Memetics and Infohazard Orientation documents. And unfortunately, I missed quite a bit on that because there was a lot of hidden items inside of the actual message and even inside the document itself. A user on YouTube mentioned that I missed a lot of information from the reading, and I'm not one who likes to leave anything out in the open. I like to read the entire document, so this is what we're doing right now. There was a lot of stuff missing. In fact, a lot of the stuff was tooltips. He mentioned there was like six different kinds of mind screw going on inside the document itself, and I'm going to go over quite a bit of it. And I may even miss some more, so if you find something, let me know. To help you better understand what I'm talking about, you may want to bring up the Memetics and Infohazards Division Orientation. You can find the link in the video description below. The first thing that I noticed was if you hover your mouse over certain words, you'll get extra information off of it. Um, the first thing we're going to do is the second paragraph where it says, I'm Junior Researcher Zach Action and I, uh, yes, question. Hover your mouse over the question and a tooltip will come up saying, a question like, how am I perceiving this message from that very handsome man saying other words? Or, whose voice does this sound like in my head? But those are not the most important questions right now. The next tooltip will be on the fifth paragraph where it says, but today I'm going to be completely honest with you. Hover over today and it will say, some of you. The next secret is going to be in the area where it says, it doesn't matter if the walls are melting, it's this paragraph. It doesn't matter if the walls are melting and your cats with your grandmother's face are telling you the secret history of the world. You write your reports, conduct tests, and follow the contained procedures. You document everything that the grandma cats tell you and write it out until you punch out. Hover your mouse over, what's in your head can't hurt you unless you let it. It'll say, most of the time. Uh, the next secret is basically going to be over by where the first, the first redacted part, where it says maybe instead you should talk to your supervisor, because we sure don't need another prophet too. What you're going to do is highlight the, the blanked out part and it'll say, welcome. And it says, Hey, that it got everybody's attention. Yeah, that part you'll learn is now how not to say things. Did you know that the blank percentage of redacted information by Mac censoring? If you hover, if you highlight the that redacted part, it'll say hi. Now, a big part is coming up. You're gonna want to hover over the part where it says, "Well, first redacted." Hover over, hover over redacted, and it's gonna read, "Welcome to the real orientation." If you can perceive this, then you'll be working with us in the real Memetics and Infohazards Division. It should come as no surprise to you that there are many layers to our division. Everyone else nodding out right now are just to cover. They will be playing an important role in misdirection, counterintelligence, and handling all the busy work. You get to do the real work, and it takes more than just a week to get you to that level. This week will provide you the basics the others get, with the real preparatory seminars transmitted through a variety of unconventional channels. The testing has already begun to see who can pick up all of it. You all carry some form of the blank gene which is present in point percent of the population, which the Foundation screens for. If you highlight those two portions it says sorry and no. While you can perceive this, you also have an increased risk for schizophrenia and dissociative identity disorder. But don't worry, if you made it this far, you have a much higher likelihood of being driven mad by your own work material than your genetic makeup. The other good news is your training and condition will minimize the likelihood of either occurring. We have discovered through trial and error how to protect our minds against very dangerous hazards. The many Division members who retired to psychiatric wards are a testament to that. You will learn the lucid dream, which is where much of your practice will take place. You will undergo intensive psychological testing to make sure you do not join our alumni. You will practice meditation until you achieve the level of Zen Master and float above your superfluous programming completely. You will be taught the Akasic scripts and meta-languages which bypass the frontal cortex and tap directly into the primal drives. If you make it to the upper echelons, you will learn manipulation commands like kill words. After a minor surgery, after a few minor surgeries to your trachea, we will let you know when you are ready. The pioneers who discovered the safe procedures for containing lethal info hazards in your mind never got a chance to retire. Not only will you be able to work with cognitohazard and memetic SCPs, you will help to develop 
the neurocognitive counter-programming and anti-memes that will shield you, your colleagues, and society from the gibbering madness lurking in containment. You will make the Foundation safer, saner, productive, and unquestioning in their commitment. You will bend the archetypes from our collective unconsciousness to your will to secure, contain, and protect us all. Welcome again, and congratulations. Alright, the next major piece of information is going to come from in between two paragraphs near the bottom of the page. When you hover your mouse over it, you'll see a red line under in between them. You're going to click that, and another piece of information will pop up. It reads, Deeper ad infinitive. The repetitive nature of complementing your attention to detail and knowledge of the myriad means of hiding information is becoming redundant. You will still receive instruction, but clearly you have already been conducting your own training regimen. Well played. You've earned a little more candor. The genetic explanation for who can expand their senses to perceive the hidden full-spectrum information is untrue as far as we can ascertain. We do not know why some people are attuned to and can reshape the deeper orders of information. We do not yet understand the mechanism of the majority of SCPs, hence anomalous. We have many layers to protect both the Foundation and ourselves. There is no good that can come from the suggestion that the collective mind of our division is an SCP in and of itself. This has been suggested, but has been dealt with. We have a presence at the top tier with Division Founder 05-blank which says no. We also have several site directors with varying degrees of awareness, they are ours. We are telling you this so that you know you are valued, and will be protected. We are telling you this so you will stop what you are planning. Right. Now. We know you have been planning how to get fast-tracked for promotion to a director position, planning to use the information-based SCPs in ways the sleepwalkers can't conceive. Planning to program select people's neural schemas to satisfy your whims. You need to forget all that. Now. Trust us. By yourself, you will inevitably endanger yourself, the Foundation, and our Division. We have done it all better than you could ever hope so. We will teach you how to correctly maximize your potential. We need fellow travelers, not megalomaniacal lone wolves. We can't program you not to, so we are asking nicely. Please, kindly. Do not fuck with us. We'll be in touch. Underneath this, you'll see we'll look at the time. Hover over that and it says, Time flies when you're receiving cognitomimetic conditioning. And then, below that, you'll see because it's chock full of drugs. Hover over that and it'll say, How well you can handle your shit is an important component of training. And there will be pharma pharmacological hallucinatory tutorials just for you. Have fun in the desert with the Lizard King. Over by where it says Footnotes, you're going to highlight this area by clicking and dragging. It reads, The many layers and contradictions are an intentional part of your training. Working with memetics and info hazards means you must learn not to trust anything. This is not to create paranoia, but instead serene skepticism. You must float atop the waves of mental programming which shift and crash against you. Nothing can pull you under unless you choose to believe it. Observe the depths. Never accept the surface. Always delve into the source code. Don't trust anyone. Don't believe everything you think. The next bit of information, if you were listening really closely, did you hear the word source code? Well, what we're going to do is go into the page source. I'm not sure what browser you use, but since I use Chrome, you're going to click on an empty space, uh, right-click on empty space, and then click view page source. You're going to go about 25% down, somewhere around there, and you're going to see this. Our collective is not a hive mind. We are connected, but we are not one. Our collective is not a family. We have a mission. Our collective is not a plot to take over the Foundation. Our goals coincide perfectly with the Foundation as a whole. When the time comes that this is no longer the case, such distinctions will cease to be meaningful. Let us explain. Veils are worn by those who are mourning the loss of the past. Mourning is natural, but cannot be maintained forever. While there have always been secret histories of old gods and elder kings, their age is long past. Since the Foundation's inception, thousands of anomalies have been discovered. Every day the rate of discovery and complexity of SCPs is increasing. Reality benders, anomalous art and technology, this is not a coincidence. 
The currents of information point towards an event that will radically change our species, world and reality. SCPs are the birth pangs for the next age, the waking of the collective unconsciousness. CK class restructuring scenario, the rapture, the birth of the next age. The semantics are beside the point. It comes. Nothing can stop this. Not us. Not the Foundation. Not the senile, broken gods yearning for their youth. But we can guide the process towards the most healthy incarnation. Reality's most basic level is information. Messages vibrating out across space-time to make up the multiverse. The Foundation is part of our species' developing immune system to ensure a healthy gestation and safe birth. We are the developing neurons who understand and transmit this information. We make sure the wrong signals do not harm or interrupt this process. The sleepwalkers are preparing to wake, perhaps in your lifetime. Even if you are archived, we will ensure your information is not lost. As part of the Foundation, we will secure, contain, and protect them, us all. I may have missed even more clues and information, but for the most part, I believe I got probably about 80... 80-90% of all the information that was hidden. If you find anything else that's hidden, let me know, because this thing is full of information and hidden messages and secrets and all sorts of things. Hope you've enjoyed.